हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ राजकुमार मीना असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इंग्लिश बी एस आर आर्ट्स कॉलेज अलवर टूडे विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द चीफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एस टी कॉलेज पोइट्री विच इज प्रस्क्राइब इन योर part first year syllabus before we describe about the characteristics of the college poetry let's have a glimpse of at st college's life samuel taylor college was born in year 1772 and passes away in 1834 college was a man of versatile genius he was a poet critic and philosopher the french revolution appealed to him and he welcomed it in some of his early poems he expressed his political aspiration in religious missing the destiny of nations and ode to the departing year france and ode mark a change in his thought colrich poetic output is slender his best poetry was composed in year 1797 to 1798 colrich and the french revolution both are interrelated or in other sense we can say that colrich life and french revolution was mingled with each other we can say that ki over the life and poetry of st college we find a impact of french revolution the first effect of french revolution on college was to distract his attention from his studies soon after fall of the style college entered cambridge he failed to concentrate on his book books plato aeschylus and the other prescribed conversation were pushed aside and college and his few converse conversation loving friends freely discuss the pamphlets of the day it were the principle which underlay the revolution that fired his enthusiasm and for a time abstract theories of human perfectibility posed him as utopian dreams filled his thoughts with his friend saude and he planned the widely utopian scheme of philanthropocracy which visualized the founding of a sort of communistic society by a few selected friends and their wives away from the tran and the degenerated civilization in america or in some remote colony for a time french revolution provide him with the enthusiasm and inspiration and he produced some of his best and completest poem at the close of year 1796 college wrote ode on the departing year it is filled with filled with passionate discrimination against the brood of hell the king 
who had combined against the France. He is indigenous with his own country, which had joined the wild yelling of feminine and blood. But at the end of this ode, Coleridge seems to be reversing his earlier position and withdrawing from the revolution. His former enthusiasm now seems to have cooled down and he washes his hands of evil thinking. The revolution was only a way, merely an attempt to achieve in the practice the noble ideas of liberty, fraternity and equality. It might have failed, but it was certain that the noble ideas which inspired it would one day be achieved. He lost faith only in the revolution, but never in the ideals that were at the back of it. So, it was a impact of French Revolution, which we seen in his poetry. The main theme that we find that liberty, fraternity and equality are the noble ideas which are presented in the poetry of Sri Coleridge in direct manner or in indirect manner. Some of the other characteristics are also found in the poems of Sg Coleridge such as first is mystery and use of supernaturalism. We can say that his poetry is intensely imaginative. It exploits the weird, the supernatural and the obscure. The very center of Coleridge imagination lies in his faculty of evoking the mystery of things. Coleridge wrote in Biographia Literaria that it was agreed that my endeavor should be directed to persons and characters, supernatural or at least romantic, yet so as to truth sufficient to procure for these shadows of imagination that willing suspension of disbelief for the moment which concedes poetic faith. It was with this idea in the mind that he composed the rhyme of ancient mariner, a poet, a poem founded entirely on based on supernaturalism. Some poems such as Krishra Bell and Kubla Khan are two poetic frag fragments deals with the same element which is known as supernatural or mystic element introduced by S.G. Coleridge. He gave an inwardness to his conceptions of supernaturalism. He brought it into intimate relationship with individual experience and gave a psychological interest to it. The supernatural element in his poetry is remarkable for psychological interest, dramatic truth and realism. Second major characteristics of Coleridge poetry is 
his love towards nature like all romantic poets coleridge loved nature he loved nature for her own sake and his love took almost the form of reverent worship for he saw behind all the phenomena of nature that veiled the presence of god nature was alive in god and each of her forms as the flowers the rivers the mountains informed by a distinct spirit had a distinct life of its own this idea from the basics of ancient mariner were the guilty manner the guilty mariner is punished by the aging spirits and then is redeemed by the scar felt in course of time his conception of nature changed it is our own thought that make nature to us it is in our thought that we forgive from the external objects to conclude we can say that coleridge as a nature poet is conspicuous for suitable and minute observation of the scenic beauty of nature he painted the outward forms of nature with a degree of delicacy to which neither wordsworth himself nor perhaps any other worshipper of nature keep accepted ever quite attained he had a sense of color comparable to that of keats poetry and turner in painting third chief characteristic of coleridge poetry is his dreaminess coleridge imaginative faculty was at its height when he escaped from reality into a mystic worlds of dream it was out of such dreams that he conceived ancient mariner cristobal kubla khan that quality that gives them their poetic distinction is their to light vacuousness in which everything is seen through a hedge as short as sort of projection from a dreamland kubla khan is all a melody and wonder and it was out of the stuff of dreams that this wonderful poem was conceived and wrote fourth coleridge poetry fourth chief characteristics of coleridge poetry is coleridge metrical art as a gifted poetical artist coleridge is most musical no poet has ever excelled him in the witchery of music according to simon he is always a singer and show a great 
sensitiveness to music than any other english poet except milton music comes spontaneously and naturally to coleridge he used various devices to create music first he create music by the skillful use of vowel sounds secondly words and phrase instinctively selected for their sound value are so placed that they not only created music in the line while they occur but contribute to the entire symphony of the preceding and succeeding line thirdly he skillfully handle the meter so in the end we can say that coleridge definitely employ the old ballad meter with the help of his poetry and which make his poetry much more related to music as a song or a ballad